This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Prison Stories. So you're a white boy, and you got arrested in Nevada, and now you're going off to prison. Here's a little bit of advice that I have for you, and a rundown of kind of how things work on the white car, since you're going there, and you need to know. My first tip is mind your business and i know everybody on these youtube prison channels says oh number one thing is mine it really is mind your business if these two dudes are fighting don't even look their way much less start looking around to see who else is looking keep it pushing mind your business that will keep you alive and that will keep people they'll see that my second piece of advice don't act like anything you're not if you're not a tough guy and you're say you're you're a brainy guy you're smart that's fine you don't have to be a tough guy they will like you for who you are if you're funny be funny if you're smart be smart do not go in there acting like a tough guy and thinking if I act like I'm a I'm a I'm a big dude, these these dudes won't mess with me. You know, like mm 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 mm, you're gonna get mollywop. Woo! Come on over here into this cell. We're gonna test that heart right now. Bing bing bing. They're gonna they're gonna piece your ass up, dude. People will always respect you for who you are, and you don't have to play. Do not pretend to be something you're not. Number three, mouth shut, eyes open, ears open. Don't talk to the cops. These people are not your friends. You be respectful to the COs and they'll be respectful to you for the most part. I mean, there's some good ones and there's a lot of bad ones there, but you'll be all right. Once they read up your paperwork, hey man, here's the electric razor. Go ahead, you know, clean it up. I got myself a nice fat mustache because you can't have a beard in there, but you can have a mustache. So I had that whole mustache. And Spain used to come out and just, boy, that's a glorious mustache you got going on there. Thank you, Spain. That motherfucker love my mustache. So, every race, they have what's called a car. You have a white car, black car, a southerner car, paisa car. Everybody's got a car. Within that car, there are different subsets. In the white car, you have skinheads, then you have woods, and then you have normal everyday Caucasians. So your skinheads, they're gonna be like your Aryan warriors, your inland Nazi skinheads, INS, your outlaw Nazi skinheads, ONS, things like that, different groups. They're the ones who dictate most of the policy when it comes to these yards. They're the ones who run these yards. Underneath that, you have woods. The woods make up by far most of the white population in Nevada prisons. These are your white boys that aren't down with the skinhead policies, but definitely ride for the white car and will definitely get down when it's needed. And being a wood is, is probably where most people land. Then you have your Caucasians. These are the nerdy guys. These are the paper pushers, things like that. People that have, you know, cashed off bad checks at the casino. They're like businessmen, things like that. They're not really trying to get down, so they kind of stay out of the way, and, and we don't really bother them, but they would fall under the woods, and the woods would have to deal with them. So when somebody's removed off of a yard, if a skinhead does something wrong, it's going to be taken care of by the skinheads, and the skinhead will never ask the woods to take care of their own people. They'll take care of their own people, and that falls with the woods. If there's an issue with the wood, say a skinhead has a problem with the wood, he's probably going to come tell the woods, hey man, Y'all need to take care of this dude because whoever the skinhead is, say he's a dub, he doesn't want to go the hole for this. But this wood is, you know, he's doing something that he shouldn't. So the woods are going to take care of it. We'll roll him up for you. And that goes with the regular Caucasians too. Like if they're messing up, you give them a little more leadway. You know, you try not to, to do anything to them because they're already scared. And, and we're not sharks, you know, we're not out there trying to just victimize people for the sake of victimizing them. So that kind of breaks down the cars. Now we have alliances. The white car runs with the south side car, the Serenio car. We eat next to each other in the chow hall. We use the same showers, we use the same phones. If anything pops off, unless it's between the south siders and the whites, we're gonna ride together. Say if the Pisces and the Blacks rush the Serenios, the whites are gonna get down on the Serenio side and try and help them out. I didn't make up the politics, it just is what it is. Now in the chow hall, if you're running with the white car, you're gonna sit with the white car. 
the tables have four seats and there's a bunch of them you're gonna sit with your people they're never gonna mix you you're never gonna be a white man in Nevada and then force you to go sit with say the Paisas who don't want you there and you don't want to be there and then problems they're not gonna to want to cause those kind of problems at least in level four now I don't know anything below level four because I've never been to anything below a level four so I can only speak on where I've been and I've never really asked anybody about these things when it comes to say a level three level two and definitely at camp I, I can't even imagine being in a camp uh, I can't even imagine how miserable I would be and and I would just you know probably just bomb on the first guy I could find that bothered me so that I could go back up there with the real gangsters because they know how to act so they'll never put you in a cell with another car either I have seen it happen I've seen the other put in with a, a south sider and I'll tell that story on a different video but it turned out ugly now that is of course unless that white man is running with a different car I have seen a white blood on the yard in level 4 and I have seen white south siders in Nevada this is where we differ from California if you're white and you're a crip or you're white and you're a blood or a south sider or whatever we're not gonna try and remove you off the yard just because you're white and you're running with a different car that's none of our business we don't care we just don't fuck with you and that's just how that is there was a white blood I mean they had a nickname for him uh, the skins would call him Mowgli which is you know the white kid from the jungle book I think you can kind of figure that out and you know I mean they'll say things about him but we're not just gonna move on him and and hokey pokey him just because I mean you are who you are and that's Vegas is different in that in that manner because it's so diverse there's so many different types of people in Vegas and when you're running the streets you're dealing with all kinds of people I have black friends I have Mexican friends I have Asian friends I don't give a shit and nobody's gonna tell me who I can and can't be friends with and like I said in one of my other videos I have friends that were in white fence or are in white fence if I would have decided to go south sider the whites would have just been okay that's you know the south sider it is what it is that's one way that you could see a white person in say a black cell or a Mexican cell but other than that if you're white you're gonna be celled up with a white man now on laundry day the skinheads prefer they never send their laundry out because they don't want their laundry done with any other race me and my celly perump sometimes we would send our, our laundry out then I started buying all the, the good tide powder and we just after after I got the, the powder in we just did our own laundry we cleaned our own house things like that but the reason we did that was because Perump had sent his away and it came back like a shirt short one time and we were like no we're not sending our stuff out anymore you know Perump was a really good dude probably one of my favorite sellies I have two favorite sellies actually and I'll talk about them in a different video too but Perump was definitely a, I'm still in touch with him today and he's doing amazing so if you're out there watching Perump I love you bro now the Aryan Warriors are the most hardcore when it comes to politics like 15 years ago right in there the feds indicted all of them or as many of them as they could quite a few of them I knew personally and they you know a couple of them I would call my friends so they all got indicted they all got sentences ranging I think between 15 and and 30 years and they were all sent off to the feds well they didn't get all of them so they had to rebuild now they're under indictment again they're under indictment it looks like Torque and Muggsy killed some kid in high desert stabbed him up real bad and uh and he didn't make it torque died i just saw he died in january in prison i don't know from what i i've been out of touch with everybody in nevada when it comes to prison for a little while now and i did that on purpose i'm trying to move on with my life i'm trying i have you know i'm a family man now i work every day i don't need to be involved in any of that anymore I have other things that make me happy in life so if you're white and you're going to prison in Nevada and you watch this video I hope it helps you just a little bit to kind of know what to expect when you hit the yard kind of how to act 
what to not do more than do, whatever. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Leave a comment for the algorithm and thank you for coming to Vegas Prison Stories. I'll see you next time. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Prison Stories.